Welcome to Horner's Sunday Kitchen. Today, we're making my mom's apple crisp. And it, I don't get very many recipes from my mom. She, don't get me wrong. She cooked some really good stuff, except for the roast. I, it, I can say that because she doesn't watch my channel anyways, all right? So, but she came up with this recipe. I don't know where she got it from, but it's apple crisp, okay? Apple crisp in the microwave. Okay, in the microwave. Of course, you can do it in the oven too, but it takes longer, okay? And my mom, she's a little impatient, you know? Raising me, don't blame her. I was a great kid though, you, don't ask her. Okay, so this apple crisp is, it's one of my wife's favorites, okay? We went over one night and had it at my mom's house and, and then we got the recipe and, and she loves this apple crisp. So, um, and I had a, a lot of requests for, you know, hey, you need to do more desserts on your channel. So, because we really don't do desserts um, because I'm on a diet. So, tonight I'm gonna break that diet and actually make apple crisp for my wife, not for me. And I'm going to, I, I have to sample it to see, make sure it's right, right? You know, you, you have to sample your food. In case it's poisoned, I don't wanna give it to my wife, right? That, that would be a bad thing, right? So, I, I, I think so. But anyways, the recipe is, okay, it's a half a cup of white sugar, which is right here, half a cup of brown sugar, and then you got a half a cup of flour, and then you have to have your oats, of course, Quaker oats. I got the old fashioned oats. Um, my father-in-law used to eat this, this red meal, and that's a manly oatmeal. I, I'm not gonna use that in, in, in apple crisp, okay? So, and then one teaspoon, um, one teaspoon of cinnamon, and then one teaspoon of nutmeg, and then a quarter cup of butter, right? So I got this little cute thing, it's half a stick of butter, right? They come in half sticks, so it's, it's really cute. So you gotta have that, you gotta have that. Six apples, all right, and then a quarter cup of apple juice, and that is all going to fit in this and in the microwave. So I'm gonna peel these apples, I'm not gonna bore you with peeling the apples. I use a, I use a potato peeler, um, one of our friends got this, it was an Amish, she got it from, an, her dad got it from an Amish store. And so, and it's been, this is 20, 23 years old, 24 years old, something like that. It's very old, but it, it's just sharp as it always has been. So, all right, so we'll be right back. We're going to, uh, we're going to assemble this and it's going to be awesome. So stay tuned. I'm gonna show you how to cut up these apples. Uh, you know, I have a, I have an apple core, um, but not everybody has one. A apple core, here, I'll, I'll show you. The apple core, get that knife out of the way so I don't cut myself, but the apple core, basically you just line it up and that's it, right? You're done, okay? Um, or you can hand cut them. It, 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 it makes no difference to me um, if I hand cut them or that. Um, Hand cutting, I can get them, you know, I can get them the size I want them. You know, I just do this. This is all I do. And this is an excellent recipe um, for any, anybody to make, you know, for their, for their kids, their, their parents, right? So I'm going to cut this in half, right? So, cause I want, I want littler pieces, all right? And then I'm going to cut them probably about, you know, a quarter inch to a, to a half inch, you know, cause you don't want them to be soggy, right? Oh, oh wrong one. I'm gonna put those in the big bowl, and I'll show you the big bowl in a second. All right, so these, these you really gotta, yeah, I gotta, I gotta cut these in half first, and then, then in half. So, yeah, and then you're gonna microwave this. Once everything's all together, you're gonna microwave it for about 14 to 16 minutes, and it is, oh, it comes out so good, so good. So I'm gonna cut this one in half, and I'm not gonna sit here and make you watch me cut up all these apples, because that would be a bad thing. That'd be boring for you. Um, so, but yeah, just like just like that, and I have six apples to cut up, so you know, I'm gonna cut up, I'll show you one, and then that's it. And they, don't, they don't have to be exact. I mean, they're, they're, they're gonna, they'll survive. They really will, um, in the microwave. A lot of people don't like microwaves. Uh, my philosophy is, um, you know, why would they sell them if they're unhealthy? You know, why would they do that? I'm just kidding. I really am. A, a lot of people don't like microwaves. My wife doesn't like a microwave either, but she will tolerate it for apple crisp. So there we go. 
and that's it right there. Um, I'll do one more right here. So, and that's it. And we will be back once these are all cut up and I'll show you the rest of the ingredients. All right, here we go. The apples are cut up. Now we're gonna make the top, the, the crisp part of it, okay? And that's where it involves the half a cup of sugar, white sugar, okay? Half a cup of white sugar in there. Then you got a half a cup of brown, right? Okay, a half a cup of brown sugar. Then you got a half a cup of flour. Put that in there. Then you got a half or half a cup of oats too. So we're we're on a half a cup. That's good because there's less dishes. It's just one, right? So that's awesome. All right. And then we got a teaspoon of cinnamon. All right. So a teaspoon of cinnamon. This is the teaspoon. All right. And there's our cinnamon. And what we're gonna do? Oh, okay, let's open that up. All right. We're gonna pour that. I'm gonna pour a little bit in there, right? Then I'm gonna pour those on the, I'm gonna pour the cinnamon on the apples. You gotta pour the cinnamon on the apples. That's where it's gotta go. A little bit in the topping, but the brown sugar is really good for the topping. I, I would just, uh, yeah, just trust me on this. The cinnamon goes on the apples, all right? So, and then we need a half a teaspoon. I actually have a half a, tea, half a teaspoon of nutmeg. All right, nutmeg, I, I would put a half a teaspoon, just a little sprinkle in the top, and then, of course, on the apples. Okay, that's where that goes. And then we're gonna add a half, that half, a, uh, half or quarter cup of butter. And I, go, I went ahead and melted it. So, and that goes right in the topping that you're gonna stir around, okay? And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna get a spatula out because it's stuck to the bowl, you know, it always sticks to the bowl. But I'm gonna get a spatula out and then I'm gonna get the rest of it and put it in my baking dish so I can butter my baking dish. Okay, so there you go, that's with that. And then a quarter cup of apple juice. And the apple juice is gonna go right in with the apples. Okay. And of course I got mismatched uh, utensils. So um, yeah, I need to, I really need to do so, and that's a quarter cup. And I'm gonna put that right into the apples. All right, so, there we go. Now, we're going to mix it all up. Can you get this? Mix this all up, and this is the topping. This is the, oh, this is the crunch part, the crisp. You know, the part that gets crisp on top and everything. So you're gonna do that, and there we go. And the butter doesn't have to be all the way melted. Um, I, I, I do, I, I don't know. I just do it. So, and there we go, just separate that. There we go. And then what I do is I, I mix up this with my hands, okay? And make sure that they're evenly, I, I, I did wash my hands, today even. So um, just make sure that they're evenly coated with cinnamon and nutmeg and the, the quarter cup of, of uh, apple juice, all right? And then, I'm gonna wash my hands, right? So, go, dry it off, and then I'm going to use a dry part of the paper towel to smear this around in the baking, the pie pan. I'm using a pie pan because it fits in the microwave. So now it's buttered. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna put the apples in here with the with the brown or the the apple juice on it. So it soaked it up, it really did. It soaked it right up. And then what we're gonna do is we're going to smash this up a little bit and put this right on top. And close that. These are, we bought these at uh, the container store. So my wife's, my wife loves them. She does, she loves her containers. So, and, Happy life, happy life, right? So, all right, then I'm gonna go and just sprinkle this over the top here. Just sprinkle it right over the top. Ooh, don't waste any of that. That's the good stuff. That's the really good stuff. That's the definitely not keto stuff. So, you just put that in there on the top. A little bit more. Oh, it's gonna be so nice. I went out and bought some ice cream and me being from tech or being in Texas, 
Um, normally you would buy bluebell ice cream, but um, the traditionalist, you know who I'm talking about, that other person in my house, um, she does not like bluebell ice cream. I, 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 before you get in the comments section, we're from Washington State. We have Dryer's ice cream. We have a lot of Schwann's ice cream. So it's, we've had really good ice cream and Bluebell just doesn't hit the spot for her. So, um, some, you just gotta make her happy. That's all, that's what I do. So, all right, we're gonna microwave this on high for 14 minutes and then we'll come back. All right, hold on. All right, now it's time for the tasting. I, I just want to uh, uh, point this out, I, and I know it's probably common sense, but have a good pair of hot pads when you take it out of the microwave after 14 to 16 minutes. Um, otherwise, you are going to be hurting, all right? So anyways, those go over there. This turned out perfect, all right? At least looking, okay? I, I, did, I did go and sprinkle, I did go ahead and sprinkle some cinnamon over the top, just a little bit to get it a little, make it look a little bit browner, and, and it turned out great. I already took some out because I don't like hot, 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 right? Like my wife does, okay? But it did, and it's gonna, okay, say, so see this? That's the way it's supposed to look right there. It's gonna have some liquid, okay? Don't, so don't sweat that. It's gonna have some liquid in it. Don't sweat that, it really, it's, it's warm apple pie. All right, what goes better with ice, than, with ice cream than, than warm apple pie? So, and if you're wondering about these, this is also a present from my mom. Um, she gave me the recipe and carpal tunnel. So thanks for the recipe, mom. Um, but that's it. I mean, well, except for life. I mean, you gave me life too. But carpal tunnel, really? You could have given me a new car. Or a million dollars. But we'll rely on GameStop. It's no big deal. All right, so whipped cream. Ready whip. Ready whip right here. Put that on there. Everybody loves Ready Whip, right? Oh, and if you have Ready Whip left over, um, everybody loves Ready Whip. I don't know anybody that doesn't. Um, so let's try it out. Let's try it out. And I bought some some ice cream too. Oh, that's still pretty hot on the bottom. I bought some ice cream for my wife. Some Tillamook ice cream. Of course, we already went over the Bluebell thing. Yeah. Oh, I'll never do that again. <laughs> never buy that bluebell again. So there you go. And it will melt fast because this is hot. And so it, it's very, very warm. So you have to let it sit up. Let it sit for about if I've... All right, so here we go. Mmm. So I can't, shut up, Mike. So I can't eat. You guys want dogs? Yeah. All right, so I can't eat much of it. My wife already told me she'd eat the rest of it. So I can't eat the rest of it. But that is, that's hard not to eat. Oh my goodness. Whew. For a dessert, you gotta try that. 14 to 16 minute at, um, in a microwave. Now, like I said, half a cup of sugar, half a cup of brown sugar, one half cup of flour, half cup of oats, one teaspoon of cinnamon, half teaspoon of nutmeg, quarter cup of butter, six apples peeled, sliced um, to your size, whatever size you want, and then a quarter cup of apple juice and butter the baking dish, microwave, 14 minutes. You guys saw how to assemble it. Whew. How, why do I gotta be on a diet? It's killing me. So, but thanks again, Mom, for uh, carpal tunnel and uh, this recipe. It's wonderful. It's wonderful. It's a lot better than carpal tunnel. All right. So, and with ice cream, it'll be awesome too. But that is not keto ice cream. So, I'm on a diet for a little while. All right. So, anyways. So, if you like this video, hit the like button. And if you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Hit the notification button so you're notified when we post another video. And my, my son does that every Sunday. Shout out to my son. He works hard on these videos. He, he does a great job and he, he doesn't complain at all. He, he, I think he enjoys it. So um, his name's Skyler 
great, a great kid. Um, I think his parents raised him right. I, I think that's what it is. <coughs> hey, God, hey, guys, guys, you're not getting any. Shh, Bella, be quiet. All right, so that's it for Horner Sunday Kitchen. You guys have a great night. Be safe.